Hello everyone, my name is uh, Abhishek Kafle. I'm currently enrolled as an MS by research uh, student in Design Lab Department of Mechanical Engineering, Kathmandu University. Uh, the topic for my presentation today is a review on casting technology with the prospects on its application for manufacturing hydro turbines. My uh, co authors are Assistant Professor Pratishtit Lal Shrestha, Dr. Salis Chitrakar, Professor Dr. Bola Thapa. Assistant Professor Dr. Bira Singh Thaba and Mr. Nishal Sharma. These are the contents uh, that I will be going through today in my presentation. The casting is uh, one of the oldest manufacturing techniques that has been in use since 3400 BC. And if you look at the uh, current scenario, casting is one of the biggest industries today. In the year to, uh, in the year 2017, 109.8 million tons of casting was produced worldwide, with China accounting for 49.4 million tons of casting, and India and USA accounting for 12.05 and uh, 9.6 million tons of casting, respectively. Respectively. There are a wide range of applications in which the casting technology is used with automobile sector, engineering industry, and construction and infrastructure industry being the major sectors. But somehow, hydropower has never been a major market for this casting industry. But with the trend of the hydropower growing each year, the market in this area has opened up and casting uh, could utilize this market as well. As hydro energy in present scenario is the major source of renewable energy worldwide, its demand is rising every year. The total worldwide installed capacity of hydro power in 2018 was 4.2 terawatt hour and these numbers are increasing each passing year. This trend is verified by the graph zone which shows the growth of the hydro power capacity of the hydro power in the last 5 decades. Casting can be used especially for manufacturing of the complex structures like the complex structures of hydromechanical structures in the case of the hydropower plant and the complex structures here could be the turbines. We can see in the graph the production cost per turn rises with the increasing complexity in the mechanical working but in case of the casting the production cost remains all almost the same. So this is one of the major advantages of the casting technology that could be brought in for casting of the turbines. Multiple research can be found that that has attempted the casting of the hydro turbines using using the various types of casting like investment casting and sand casting. Turbine testing lab at Kashmir University used the traditional bronze casting technology to cast the 14 kW Francis runner. The turbine was casted in two attempts. In the first attempt, the runner had many defects including blue holes, shrinkage, misrun and fusion. Though a detailed study was not done, a preliminary hypothesis was made suggesting the lower temperature improper getting system to be the major cause of failure. In the second attempt, the runner was casted taking into account the causes of failure of first attempt and the results improved. However, defects could be seen in the second attempt as well. A 92 kilowatt Francis runner was manufactured, manufactured by Nepal Hydroelectric NHE in Butuol and the blades of these runners were casted in the metal cast. As seen in the figure, the, uh, the blades of these donors were welded together with the hubs and shrouds. Similar concept was used for the manufacturing of the world's largest turbine of the Three Gorges hydropower plant. This donor of size as big as 10 meters in diameter and 450 tons in weight is made of 410 nickel molybdenum type martensitic stainless steel. Welding was used to manufacture the donor and repair the casting defects. The consumption of the metal cord wire was estimated to be at roughly 7 to 10 tons per runner for the welding process. 
and another example of the casting of the uh, filter turn white can be seen by in the manufacturing process used by the ii mod in the, in this process he used the sand mold to uh, as sand mold for the casting of the pellet turbine the sand mold here is uh, brought into shape of the <coughs> runner of the buckets of the pellet turbine by cnc machining process multiple research works can be found that explains the development of activities in casting technology a detailed study by rg craig on the property of natural waxes suggests the use of material with lower thermal expansion and smooth surface for better strength and of the pattern and better surface finish of the model this is especially necessary necessary in the case of the turbines because a proper finished surface is necessary in the hydro turbines for better efficiency SAM Rizavans carry, carried out an experimental study to investigate the dimensional sta stability of injected wax patterns of cast turbine blades. The study identified the sig significance of various parameters including temperature and holding time. The study shows deviation of airfoil to be the more to be more towards the convex side affected by the temperature. Andrew L studied uh, Andrew L proposed a new type of uh, lux lux uh, wax casting new type of casting that is similar to the lux wax casting he proposed ice casting methods in this casting in this casting ice is used as a mold so all the materials during the molding process is kept below 0 degree centigrade i never studied about the auto pour techniques in sand casting processes the auto pour pr process is operated by plc the laser sensor the laser senses the depth of the molten metal and then it is moved away to the cooling area by conveyor belt after some time it is taken to the vibrator while sand is removed by sand blasting this process led to the higher production of the of about 70.2 percentage and lower rejection rate of more than 43 percentage another is Another uh, new in innovation in this uh, casting technology has been binder jetting. Whole body casting of variety, variety of the complex structures can be done using this technology. And uh, this uh, technology has be started being used for the manufacturing of the Francis turbine. In this technology, the sand is binder jetted layer by layer so the complex uh, structures of the mold can be formed as seen in the figure and there are various challenges in the casting processes some of the most uh, relevant studies are discussed mr latte has prepared presented a study on blue hole defect analysis of the msi bst4 aluminium block using quality control tools the study suggests the study results suggest the use of the air vents for blow holes due to trapped air. Similarly, R. Hamdin's study on the effect of shrinkage on the service performance of the steel casting proposes a new set of engineering guidelines based on radiographic inspection standards with the help of data on the effect of shrinkage discontinuities on mechanical properties and performance of steel casting. De Fermino conducted a research on Failure analysis of Pelton turbine. Failure Pelton turbine manufacturing in soft, soft martensitic stainless casting. Several experiments were carried out, including inspection of fracture surfaces, chemical composition, and metallurgical examinations. The metallurgical observations through the optical microscope showed the presence of sharp crack following the path of a ferrite island. As shown in the figure, the same inspection of the fracture surfaces showed the presence of discontinuities in the surfaces, and it was it was interpreted as shrinkage cavities or hot tears. Now there are various optimization processes that can be used in better casting and better develop better finished casted products. Some of the some of these optimizations uh, are discussed.
wear efficient cooling, optimization of sand mold, and casting simulation. Firstly, the efficient cooling. JW Wang proposed post solidification intensive riser cooling PSIRC method. In this process, at the beginning, the casting is suddenly cooled by sand mold. After the progression of the cooling, majority of the heat transfer takes place from top of the riser to the bottom of the casting. After the use of PSIRC, heat flows from the hot spot towards top surface and after 50 hours of cooling, heat totally leaves the riser. Another is the study by Hang Liang Yu. He studied the distortion behavior of heavy hydro turbine blade casting during forced air cooling in normalizing treatment process. He found a large distortion at the blade corner in the outlet side, outlet side cooling from 220 to 510 minutes from the non-uniform cooling and the phase transformation and thus proposed this time as the critical time period to control the distortion behavior. So in this time period, the method proposed above by J.W. Kang can be used for more efficient cooling. Another is the optimization of sand mold. C. Sang Kyo worked on the optimization of molding sand composition for quality improvements of iron castings. This research focused more on the hardness with the variation in bentonite and water added to the sand mold. The table shows the hardness data of sand mold for the optimized mixture and conventional mixture. And the figure shows the microscopic images of the two mixtures. The research concludes the optimal mixture of the components to be at 93.3 mass percentage of time recycled molding sand, 5 percentage of bentonite and 1.7 percentage of water. Now next is the casting simulation. Simulation in the casting technology has become one of the most integrated tools for the larger casting industries for visualizing and designing casting processes. BW in his paper highlights the casting troubleshooting methods, optimization, method optimization and part design improvements to be the major three application of casting simulation. T. Morthland combined the approach of finite element analysis, data sensitive analysis and numerical optimization systematically improve casting design. Similarly, R. Tavakoli used positions approximations of non-linear heat transfer equation for optimization of riser design. Following uh, is the list of the uh, casting simulation softwares that are mostly used and popular in the various casting industries. And to conclude with, the development of the casting simulation and rapid prototyping has been the major boon for the further enhancement of this technology. There are few challenges in terms of various defects that could come in with this technology, but proper process planning and computer simulation of this surface, these processes can help to improve the quality of the product. With all these developments, the manufacturing of hydro turbines using casting technology seems more efficient. With the rapid Technological development, a strong collaboration between industry and academia is necessary to boost this process and bring a change in the casting industry for heavy hydro steel turbine casting. And these are the scopes and limitations of uh, this study. Information and data presented in this paper is based on the research work that is available in the public domain. 80 papers that were found over the internet were selected based on the title and abstract. Out of these, 50 papers were read in detail by the author and 32 of them have been used in this paper. These are some of the references uh, that I have used uh, during this presentation. Thank you.